In three, two, one, go. And match number 29 of 56 is underway in autonomous. The first 15 seconds programmed by the human players. The actions on the field hopefully will respond to the programming and do what they want to score as many points as we can. Looked like Walton was to go up, over, out, back, and on. All right. 60-23 now off of the platform. That's the disc bots looking to collect one of those power cones or cubes. They're heading down to the substation as Oscar has a cone in their possession. Going to try to place that cone high atop the power pole in the outer grid. It falls down on top of the outer grid. That's worth five points for the Blue Alliance as the score is 36-30 to 30 with 110 seconds left to go in the match. The match starts with 15 seconds of autonomous, followed by 2 minutes and 15 seconds of human-robot interaction. The game is called Charged Up, presented by Haas. The idea, to collect as many power cubes and cones as possible, taking them back into the community, placing them high atop, somewhere on the power grid. You've got an outer grid, you've got a cooperation grid, and you've got another outer grid. The bots can score points by getting them high atop the power poles, high atop the towers. Worth five points right there where Oscar is placing theirs. Five points. They also placed three of those game pieces side by side, creating a link in the nodes, which helps energize the system. That gets them an additional five points. A Blue Alliance has one link created. The Red Alliance has currently has three of those. It's 72-52 right now. That's the difference in the match is the amount of power that the Red Alliance has in their community as they score another one high. 80-80, the Sequoia Robots teams creates another two points by placing another cube low as 87-61 and 60-23. Tiger and Dispots trying to get up high on the tower charging platform. It's 10 points apiece if they can get up there and level that platform and what we would call engaged to that platform. 80-80 already up there as Walton Robotics trying to do that for the red. They'll get two up there. They can dock and engage. All right, that's 20 points for the Red Alliance and 20 points for the Blue Alliance as the Red Alliance also has an additional ranking point for sustainability links scored. They got four out of four. They normally start off with five, but when they complete the cooperation grid on both sides, it reduces the number of links they need to get that sustainability award by one. All right. The referees are conferring one more time. That gives that F1 time to go get refueled, get new tires. They've been burning a lot of rubber up there, leaving a lot of streaks on the concrete pavement. We're waiting to see which color paint the F1 will leave this time. And the F1 is ready to go. Let's see what color paint it leaves. The red paint indicating the Red Alliance victorious with a score of 108 to 74. Walton hangs on to its ranking at number one during that match.